Hi, I'm Scott Miller. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how our dogs need special care to make sure they don't pick up newly spreading diseases carried by parasites. The distribution of these diseases is linked to climate change, with warmer weather allowing parasites carrying what used to be exotic diseases northwards, posing new threats to our dogs and ourselves. Underlining the educational aspects of the Parasite Life Undercover exhibition, many pet owners are unaware of the increasing risk of parasite-borne diseases. Bayer Healthcare is the proud sponsor of this educational exhibit. Through such initiatives, Bayer is addressing the impact of climate change challenges and their effects on our animals. Ticks, mosquitoes, fleas, and in some countries, sand flies are critical in the transmission of diseases to both dogs and humans, including life-threatening conditions such as ehrlichiosis, Lyme's disease, and leishmaniasis. These so-called CVBDs, or canine vector-borne diseases, were once considered exotic or unusual, but now are commonly appearing in new areas, thanks to increases in pet travel and changes in climate. Thanks to microchipping, rabies vaccinations and pet passports, many of us can now routinely take our dogs on holiday to enjoy visits to warmer countries. The only problem with this is that if we don't protect them in advance, we are potentially taking our animals into areas where these deadly conditions are common, putting our dogs and ourselves at risk. Sand flies, the parasites that spread leishmaniasis, are found mainly in tropical locations. But some species are moving to more temperate regions of the world. Canine leishmaniasis is a devastating condition that is currently incurable. And the key to its control is to make sure that dogs are not bitten by sandflies in the first place. Research shows that canine leishmaniasis is currently expanding into continental climate areas of northwestern Italy, far from the hot, sunny areas along the Mediterranean coasts where it has traditionally been isolated. And more recently, researchers at Bristol University established that dogs imported or rescued from the Mediterranean were returning to the UK with leishmaniasis. Cases of leishmaniasis also began appearing in North America in 2000 and leishmania-positive dogs have already been reported as far north as Canada. So if sand flies, the parasites that spread leishmaniasis, were to become established as a result of global warming, leishmaniasis could become a problem for all dogs. And unfortunately, sand flies are most active from June to August, the same time as our peak holiday periods. So I recommend that owners select a spot on treatment that will repel and kill the sand flies. It's even better if this product also takes care of other parasites, such as ticks and fleas. Climate change is making us reconsider how we care for our animals. Prevention is much better than cure, especially if there is no cure. Let's keep our pets well, wherever they are.